This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Fuel filter replacement. Pull the hood release lever located underneath the steering column. Lift the hood safety latch. Raise the hood and support it with the prop rod. Locate the fuse and relay box in the engine compartment. Remove the fuel pump fuse or relay. You can locate any fuse or relay by looking at the guide printed on the underside of the fuse box cover. Turn the ignition key to start and crank over the engine for several seconds. It will either start momentarily or immediately stall, or it won't start at all. Turn the ignition key to the off position. Loosen the cable nut from the negative battery terminal, then disconnect the negative battery cable. Position the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. Apply the parking brake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Then raise the front of the car and support it on jack stands. The fuel filter is located on the cross member, just in front of the fuel tank. Remove the fuel filter bracket shield. Use compressed air or a rag saturated with brake cleaner to clean any dirt surrounding the fuel inlet and outlet line fittings. Loosen the fuel filter hose clamps. Remove the fuel hose from the filter. Some fuel will most likely spill at this point. Have a shop rag and a fuel safe drain pan handy for this procedure. Remove the remaining fuel hose from the filter. It may be necessary to use a hose removing tool or an equivalent substitute tool if the hose is stuck. Be sure to take note of the direction in which the fuel flow arrow on the filter is pointing. Transfer the bracket onto the new fuel filter. Install the fuel filter with the fuel flow arrow in the correct direction. Connect the hoses to each end. Tighten the hose clamps on the fuel line securely. Install the protective bracket shield. Tighten the fasteners securely. Lower the car to the ground. Remove the rear tire chocks. When you're finished working on the fuel system, install the fuel pump relay or fuse, then the fuse box cover. Connect the negative battery cable to the battery terminal and tighten the cable nut securely. Turn the ignition switch to the on position and wait a few seconds to allow the fuel system to pressurize, then start the engine and check for fuel leaks.